nigga. Some nigga man down over there. Oh shit. Check it out now. Holy, that's why I dipped. Now, ladies and gentlemen, listen, when I was up in L.A. Uh, the last couple of days, but, man, I could just tell it was a bunch of coonery about to transpire. I headed back to Miami, okay? Now, I did an interview with our Roddy Rich coming out soon. However, if you don't know, all of the rappers, okay, have descended on L.A. because of the Super Bowl, okay? Now, everybody got bookings, hostings, they're networking, they're going to each other's parties. A lot of people usually feel safe because they're out of town. However, L.A. is one of the places that recently crime has taken over because they got strict gun laws and basically usually nobody got a gun. OK, now, when you introduce a bunch of rappers, influencers and millionaires into the mix, things get a little dicey. Now, we should all learn from the King Von incident and from other incidents. You could even say the K Flock incident. Dudes ain't fighting no more. OK. A simple fist fight usually ends with gunshots, okay? Now, Kodak Black and his homies was outside of a party, or actually outside of a concert, like, like uh, I guess Justin Bieber performed at a venue, and it was a bunch of people chilling outside. It was Gunna, it was like Quavo, it was like, you know, uh, Kodak, and everybody's chilling. Anyway, later on, a fight erupts. Now, one of Kodak homies starts to fight some other guy. Kodak, being a real street Florida Broward boy, he hops in his fight because he's he not going to leave his homie just to scrap by himself, by his dolly. Now, when he hops in, he starts to deliver the beats. And I think we're realizing where this is going. When you are getting beat up, you're going to be publicly embarrassed. Usually somebody pulls out a gun to somehow change the topic. OK, now, while Kodak Black and his friends try to like stomp on some dude who like fell, basically somebody pulled out a gun and shot several times. Kodak Black was one of the people hit. He was reportedly hit in the foot. There were other people that were hit as well, and clearly this person was just firing blindly. They're saying four men ages 60, 24, 22, and 19 were hit, okay? Of course, uh, I believe Kodak's 24, so there was just three other people, but there's a 60-year-old shot, and if I could just maybe assume, the 60-year-old wasn't probably in a fight, okay? Now, Police are looking for the shooter, but the dude is caught in 4K, okay? I mean, there's a million cameras out there, but these days, and when I say people ain't fighting, they're shooting nowadays, they know that you're at an area where everybody's going to record, but being the, the subject of a possible L to be circulated online, nobody wants to take that anymore, okay? Recently, when we saw the whole thing with the baby and Danny Lay's, like, brother, uh, Brandon Bills, when he was able to catch an L and, like, you know, go home and just get online talking smack, he's a good man because most people would have pulled out a gun right then and there, all right? Unfortunately, gunshots were fired. Unfortunately, Kodak was hit, but he is in stable condition, okay? We're hearing it was a leg shot, and we're hearing he should survive, but I have no update from his media team or him. We've seen him start to tweet, but it doesn't. we don't know if that's him tweeting. We haven't heard anything. And usually, you know, I could get a hold of him. But, you know, right now, you know, if he's in the hospital, try to give him some space. But he's saying he's going to be in the Super Bowl. Don't know how true that is. However, him getting shot for jumping in a fight, I know what y'all going to say in the comment section. Yo, you Kodak, why are you hopping in your homies' fights? Well, if he just stand, if he just stood over there like a diva, y'all would call him a bitch, right? Yeah, There's this a no-win situation with this. He stands over the corner. He doesn't jump in his homie's fight. You call him a bitch, okay? He's not about it, okay? He jumps in, beat the dude up. You'd be like, oh, yeah, he's super tough. Then the dude who he beats up, you, you're going to laugh at saying he can, like, you know what I mean, handle fighting for whatever dudes. And then if one of the dudes pulls a little Tim and shoots somebody, you're going to look at him and saying he's a bitch, he's pussy. But if it was Kodak and his crew that shot him, listen, man, it's a whole bunch of stuff going on. Basically, just keep your hands to yourself. And to be honest, assume everybody got a gun. Everybody got a gun, okay? Just assume. What do you guys think about this? Get in the comments. Subscribe, like, and subscribe. More academics. Oh.